Today I want to tell you about a marvelous building project, a whole temple that was built and they never heard the sound of a hammer at the place that the temple was built. I'm going to read you from 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 7, which says, And the temple, when it was being built, was built with stone finished at the quarry, so that no hammer or chisel or any iron tool was heard in the temple while it was being built. And it was an amazing building project the construction of one of the most beautiful buildings in the ancient world. Solomon's temple was built with almost unlimited resources, and it was designed according to the general pattern of the tabernacle, that tent that for more than 500 years was the center of worship for the tribes of Israel. God was not only interested in the end result of a built temple, but he was also interested in the process of construction. This is an important principle in God's work. Sometimes God's servants get so caught up in the end result that they think that any method justifies a good result. This principle from the building of the temple is a good warning against the false idea that God is more interested or only interested in the product of our service than in the process of our service. Therefore, we read in 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 7, that no hammer or chisel or any iron tool was heard in the temple while it was being built. This means that the stones used to build the temple were all cut and prepared at another place, the quarry. At the actual building site of the temple, the stones were only assembled. They were fashioned in one place and arranged in another at their final resting place. This speaks to the way God wants his work to be done. The temple had to be built with human labor. God did not send a team of angels to build the temple. Solomon did not want the sound of man's work to dominate the site of the temple. He wanted to communicate as much as possible that the temple was of God and not of man. Now, this means that we should do what we can to point people to God and not to point them directly to his servants. That's not easy to do in a culture that's dominated by superstars and the cult of celebrity. Often the greatest work in the kingdom of God happens quietly. Yet the building site of the temple was only quiet because there was a lot of noise and diligent work at the quarry. When the spiritual environment seems quiet, it's easy to think that God isn't doing much, but that may very well be a wrong conclusion. The work of God may be extremely active and effective only in a hidden place. We should not be too quick to judge where God is working and where he isn't working or where we think he isn't working. God works in the church, cutting and shaping us here, preparing us for a place in heaven. Jesus said that he went to prepare a place for us, but it's also true that he prepares us for that place. The work will be finished in heaven and no hammer is heard there. Friend, God knows what he is doing as he chisels your life into shape today.